Hi friends, well my name is Vivek and uh, today I have a topic called storage, sand storage from Dell and uh, to begin with I would like to show you some of the um, default um, graphical user interface let's say if you wanted to log in onto, into the Ecologic, Dell Ecologic um, manager and then first thing first you need to have a user ID and password you definitely know this the default username is GP GRP admin so you have to type GRP admin username and the uh, and exact password what you have saved earlier what you have created earlier or if you have a specific username or password so you can log in with that so this is the interface and I would like to go one by one and see this is a group and this is a storage pool. Storage pool is just like that uh, where and which kind of priority you wanted to give for which volume. So let's come to the members. I have uh, two members here and let, let me come to the first one. The first member you can see, let, let me come to the status. Under status you can see that the status is online. It will define the model number and the product of family it is PS4000 the chassis type what type the chassis is is attached to that and the disk how many disks they are attached they are configured I have a SATA 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 hard drives and the SCSI connection how much SCSI connection has been configured into this so I have created a policy for the RAID 6 and the RAID status is okay there is no problem with the status for the RAID RAID is healthy you can check all the temperature and cooling fans and power supplies controllers and disk interfaces and ops panel so you can check if you wanted to check the specific hard drive if the, if it is failed or not you can go one by one and check if it is online or not if it is online it will show as a, it will indicate as a green or if it is failed or it will, then it will show you as a red so all hard drives are in healthy state or are green so everything is fine as of now so let me come to the enclosures and it will show you the type of enclosures I have and the temperature and the normal range of the cell in the Celsius so you can go and check everything it says the status is good and the power supply and everything good so here it is the controllers from the controllers you can see that uh, I have a two controllers slot 0 and slot 1 under slot 1 sorry under slot 0 it is active and the uh, slot 1 is not active at the moment so it is grayed out so you can check the battery status and the NVRAM and the control module and firmware what firmware I am using for this slot 0 although you can also check disk what type of disk you have configured in what model number you have and what are the capacity of the disk and the status of the disk are they online or not and the sectors and health so I have SATA hard drives you can check all the model numbers I have here you can check all the all the hard drives are in healthy there is um, number 14 14 hard drive SGD SATA this model number revision number this and this is a spare hard drive like hard spare if one of the hard drives got failed this will take over let's say uh, for example a uh, second hard drive is this Hitachi so, so this Hitachi hard drive got failed accidentally something goes wrong so what happened this number 14 hard drive which is in spare it will take over to the second one and start uh, doing start acting start working as a same second hard drive is working and the moment other drive come the faulty hard drives come and take place then uh, it will start rebuilding and uh, the other spare hard drive will come into the same place on the number 14 and it will remain as a spare so it will help uh, like it, it, it will help for the failover if there is any hard drives got failed so it will not interrupt to the end user any data loss so 
this is required to have one hard drive into the storage as a spare a hard spare you can say so number 14 you can see as a indicating as a green sorry blue and all are all other hard drives are in green color and they're healthy so let's me let me come to the network and under network you can check uh, how many ethernets i have configured all the ethernets are i have two three ethernets the zero at zero at one and at two so i have two uh, some of the specific ip address which is configured and subnet all the status are up i have configured one gigabytes one gbps and one gbps for the eth zero and eth one and 100 mbps is for the eth two so you can check the mtu size how many mtu size we have configured and uh, in the dcb is uh, off at the moment so you can check all the status mtu size and everything you can go come come to the come to one one to one one by one here each zero and one eight two and if you wanted to modify some of the settings you can come here and modify the settings if you wanted to change the ip address of any specific so i'm not going to change i'm just i have shown you that how to change the ip address if required but everything is as of now wonderful there is nothing wrong with the with the IP address all communicating well and all the all the um, all three of its having a up status. So come to the network and you can define you can check the all the IP address and the data store size and how many since how many days it is in uptime and the Ethernet you can short it by this um, you just click on the Ethernet interface and short by the in it zero it one and all the other things and you can check the versions what version it is there it will show you since when you have configured last last configured and everything OS panel CM1 CM0 CM0 back panel and if you wanted to do some maintenance on the storage you can click on the maintenance you can restart and shut down and you can indicate as a flash LED so if you wanted to upgrade any firmware you can click on the f upgrade firmware and uh, start upgrading the firmware if there is any 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 changes required any thing which is clashing with the firmware you can if it if if some if somewhere uh, some of the servers or other applications is clashing with clashing with the science storage of firmware so you can come here and upgrade the firmware so compatibility will get match same thing here it's it's I have shown you everything so let me come to the volume and it will show you how many volume we have configured here we have a uh, four volumes a b c and e at the moment you can create volumes here you can create a folder you can manage and recover bins and modify settings clones and do everything you can move the folder many things many things you can do you can schedule create a schedule um, when to move folder and when to create this is the overview you can see the configuration what kind of rate configuration we have done it is read write operations shared and uh, let me see the space how what space we have at the moment you can check it from here free space we have available 322 715 GB and 1.74 terabyte you can see the replication if there is a replication is going on yes on all online and all the replications are happening Sync syncing also syncing replication is also happening so you can check from here so from the replication you can see that uh, we have two sites available the one is uh, yeah so two replication uh, is the bidirectional and uh, unidirectional you can check from there so two one way replication and second way replication is happening it's outbound and inbound you can say it's outbound and inbound replication is happening on the silent storage under monitoring you can check uh, if something goes wrong with the logs and everything you can check it from here you can check information what happened to the to the uh, you can check the timestamp and check you can check the message what was the message it, if it is something related to the login you can check from the 
yeah, when was the other guy and uh, SRM has logged out so uh, all the all the logs are generating here everything every moment when you do anything on the server it will uh, generate logs you can audit logs so I have just uh, logged in here it is showing that I have logged in with a with a username grp admin and this is the IP address I have tried before so you can check everything status of the iSCSI connection snapshot schedules there's no snapshot schedules and replication schedules and outbound replications so these things are here there's no outbound replications it's inbound replications and replication history it doesn't show anything and the sync rep there's no no there's no history or any logs for that so same thing so this is a thing which I am which I wanted to discuss with you and these are the some other thing which is uh, uh, on on this thing I will be create I will be creating another video for that so thank you for now and uh, keep me uh, try to 